It was going to be the biggest grocery store merger in American history. Kroger and Albertsons becoming one company. But after a federal judge blocked the merger earlier this week, the two have returned to being rivals, with questions now swirling about the future of grocery stores around the U.S. Kroger and Albertsons initially announced their intention to merge in 2022. Attorneys for the grocery giants argued since then that a merger was necessary for survival. But on Tuesday, a federal judge disagreed, writing that a lack of competition would hurt the overall grocery marketplace. The White House celebrated the decision, believing it will prevent an increase in prices. In a statement, the White House said the Biden administration is, quote, proud to stand up against big corporate mergers. Kroger and Albertsons have nearly 5,000 stores nationwide and employ over 700,000 Americans under names like King Supers, Safeway, and more. And while there was some discussion that the two companies may try again to merge at a later date or wait until President-elect Trump takes office, on Wednesday, Albertsons announced their intention to pull out of the merger, with the CEO of the company saying, quote, we are deeply disappointed in the court's decisions. But Albertsons isn't just leaving the merger and expressing disappointment. They're now suing Kroger. In a press release, Albertsons claims that Kroger repeatedly ignored regulators' concerns, causing the merger with Albertsons to be blocked. Albertsons is seeking now billions of dollars in damages. Now the big question is, how does this all impact you, grocery prices, and perhaps your local grocery store? After all, attorneys for Albertsons and Kroger, when they were trying to merge, argued that merging was necessary to keep prices low and compete with companies like Walmart. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.